Mia, and today we're discussing code P030X, which is single cylinder misfire. So a single cylinder misfire code indicates a problem with just that cylinder. So we're talking about things like secondary ignition, spark plugs, spark plug wires, coil packs, fuel injectors, um, or engine mechanical problems such as a uh, worn cam shaft lobe or a sticking valve, things of that nature. Anything that would affect just that cylinder. One of the most important things to look at when we're diagnosing a misfire is fuel trim. Say we have a bad injector on a certain cylinder and it's clogged, not supplying enough fuel to that cylinder, we're going to see fuel trim go very positive. That means that the uh, ECM PCM is trying to add fuel to compensate for the lean condition. Now this vehicle runs just fine so you can see that the fuel trim is well within spec which is typically uh, between negative 10 and positive 10. So anything less than negative 10 means that the vehicle is running rich where anything greater than positive 10 means that the vehicle is running This is lean, another important so thing to look at in your scan tool. This is the misfire counter. Now my Prius is running just fine so we don't have any misfires on any of the cylinders but if we did uh, they would show up here uh, in the counter and this is also really helpful, say you want to, say you think you may have a bad ignition coil. You can swap the coil from cylinder to cylinder and then check your misfires on here. So say you had, you think you have a bad coil on cylinder number one. Well you take that coil off, you move to cylinder number three. Then you open this back up and you check and see if your misfires have moved with the bad coil. Uh, if they have, then you know it's defective and should be replaced. Next thing we're going to check is injector operation. We're going to do that by looking at the injector waveform pattern using the Vantage, which is a graphing multimeter. You can get this fairly reasonably priced on eBay used. It's a great tool for beginners. So I have one lead hooked up to ground. I just went directly to the negative battery cable. The other lead is connected to the injector control circuit and we're going to take a look at this waveform pattern and see if it looks healthy. One thing I want to show you before we get started is a really cool feature of the Vantage is it shows you what a good pattern would look at like. So before we look at the pattern on my Civic, we can just go right into the Vantage and see what a good injector pattern would look like. And right, check it out. This is our waveform pattern, live, looking good. Diagnosing a secondary ignition problem, spark plugs, spark plug wires, uh, coil packs, is best done with the scope as well. Uh, I do not have the kilovolt module, which is the adapter I need to use secondary ignition with my old Vantage, so what I've rigged up to give you a general idea of what you'd be looking for, and I'm using a scope to check secondary ignition, is this beautiful old machine from the 70s, uh, analog oscilloscope. I've hooked it up to, and now I've switched to a different vehicle, but I've hooked it up to the secondary ignition. I've hooked it up to one of the spark plug wires using this inductive clamp. So basically this just goes around the spark plug wire and and then the other end of the, the uh, test lead goes to battery ground. And you can see here, this is pretty crude, um, but if we slow this thing down, let's see if we can... You can see the spark plug firing. Instead of doing a mechanical compression test, we're going to do a relative compression test. So basically, we're hooking this amp clamp up to the uh, starter positive cable, 
and we're going to use this to watch the draw of each cylinder uh, during cranking. And you're going to see the cylinders up here as little humps. And as long as the humps are all even, that means that we have good compression on every cylinder. Now if you wanted to know which cylinder is which, you could also hook up the channel 2 lead to um, a injector, number 1 injector, um, so you know which what your firing order is.